Well, what's up, guys? <laughs> Hopefully, you're all uh, doing well. So, I wanted to just kind of do this video to warn you guys to be careful when you go out and about. Um, and the reason I'm saying to be careful is because of um, two incidents that have happened, you know, in recent weeks, well, in recent days. So, last week, Tuesday, my nan was going to my great nan's house and two Muslim guys came the opposite direction and they spat at her and hauled her white trash. And then yesterday I went out. Um, it was about half one yesterday afternoon. I left to go and meet my aunt at the barber so that we could get our hair done, our hair and we'll get our hair cut and we could and obviously we were, done, we were going back to obviously my nan's to watch the uh, the Charity Shield um, match. So I left here to make my way down to the bar. I was walking him down the road um, and a car came round the corner and there were three Asian guys in the car. Looking at them, they couldn't have been no older than around early to mid 20s. Um, you know, they weren't, they weren't that much older than in the middle, but you know, they were around, as I said, early to, early -ish to mid twenties. Um, well, they were definitely aged between 20 and 25. Um, and they started following me up the road and they were, you know, they were shouting at me, oh, you know, you white this, you white that. Um, you know, one of them, you know, they were trying to spit at me, one of them had a bottle of water in his hand and he was trying to chuck water at me. Um, which, well, you know, and obviously, they were, as I said, they were following me up the road, you know, shouting, you white this, you white that, and saying, oh, you know, you better watch your back, you white scum. Um, you know, it was, it was scary, obviously, being in that kind of situation, you know. Um, I didn't really know how to react. Um, you know, I think what I feared the most in that situation yesterday. I feared that they were going to three guys were going to get out of the heart and were going to start beating the crap out of me. Like, that's why I genuinely thought was going to happen. And the thought of that really did scare me. Like, it really did, you know, it terrified me, to be honest with you, and I, I'm not going to lie. Um... You know, I mean, I can't lie about something like this. It, it you know, it, it's just, you know, it, it's terrible. Like, at the end of the day, you know, you shouldn't feel scared to go out. Like, you can't not go out. But I think at the moment, with things being the way they are, and the country being the way it is at the moment, it's probably safer to stay indoors and to go out anywhere. Like, it's probably, you know, at least if, you know, if you're indoors. They say nothing, you know, nothing can go wrong, like nothing can happen. You know, no one can say anything to you, no one can do anything to you. You know, and you, 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 at the end of the day, like, you, you know, home is the only place you really feel safe at the moment. You know, it doesn't feel safe to go out and about, you know, it's just why, you know, this country has gone star raving mad. You know, I mean, nobody, not, like, nobody should ever have to put up with what I was putting up with yesterday as I was walking on the road, you know, and minding my own business and I'm being hoard all sorts of, you know, of names by, you know, these three Asian guys, you know, you white this, you white that, you know, trying to spit at me, but as I said, one of them was trying to chuck water at me. Um, I just, and I, I honestly thought to myself, like, any minute now, these three guys are going to get out of the heart and they're going to start being crap out of me or something. Um, you know, that's what I was kind of preparing myself for. I was kind of, I felt like I was kind of ready for that to happen, you know. Um, that's what I thought was going to happen, but it didn't happen, thankfully. Um, it's just, it's mad, really, to think about it. Like, it did scare me a lot. It did terrify me a lot to think that something like this would happen. Um, but... You know, just like it just goes to show the way that society is at the moment and the way it just goes to show the way that country is at the moment. You know, that 
behaviour like that is considered acceptable. Because behaviour like that is not, you know, completely unacceptable. Um, you know, I understand, you know, I, I perfectly do, I, I do perfectly understand why things are the way they are at the moment and I know what's causing all the trouble and what's causing all of the chaos and pandemonium at the moment. Um, but I just wish that, for, you know, I, I mean, I only hope that in time things return to a certain level of normality, you know, like things, like, I only hope that, that, you know, in time all of this trouble will eventually, it does eventually die down, you know, um, I think we all, I think we all kind of hoping for that at the moment, but, you know, that's all we can really hope for at the moment is that this trouble does eventually die down, which I'm pretty sure it will eventually die, it will die down eventually, but, um, we'll see what happens anyway, we'll see, um, you know, it, 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 obviously time will tell. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously that, that incident yesterday really scared me, like, they was, they were literally following me right the way up the road, and they were going, oh, you white this, you white that, you know, you don't belong in this country, and all that kind of stuff, you know, that's what they were shouting at me, and it's sad that I had to deal with that, it's sad that I had to put up with that yesterday, because I should never have had to put up with that, you know, it's like, you know, if you're, it feels like if you're a white person, you're not exactly safe at the moment. That's what it does actually feel like at the moment. If you're a white person, you're not safe. Um, it, it, I mean, obviously, I mean, obviously, I don't have an issue with the Muslim community as a whole, and I'm not going to start saying that I, you know, I, I hate the Muslim community or anything like that. I mean, yeah, I, I do like the Muslim community, but. We shouldn't, at the end of the day, we shouldn't have to tolerate that sort of behaviour. We shouldn't have to put up with that sort of behaviour. You know, that sort of behaviour, following someone up the road in a car and calling them all sorts of names and trying to chat and spit at them and chat water at them, that kind of behaviour is completely unacceptable. Um, and obviously, as I said, you know, my mum was spat at by two Asian guys last week on Tuesday and was called white trash, you know, and, and even now, like, you know, when I go when you go out and about, it feels like, you know, we get a lot of dirty, you know, we white people, it feels like we get a lot of dirty looks from Asians, but, you know, and I've seen that a lot recently, you know, I did see that a lot yesterday, people were only giving me, you know, a lot of Asian people were giving me dirty looks, you know, um, and it did kind of make me feel, you know, tad uncomfortable the way that these Muslim people were giving me dirty looks as ever, you know, it, 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 that, 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 you know, that sort of thing does make you feel really uncomfortable when you're, when you're, you know, when people are giving you dirty looks like that and, you know, it's just, it's horrible and it really is, like, there's no good way to describe what happened yesterday, I mean, I obviously I've reported it, um, and if you guys were victim to something like this, you know, the best thing you can do is report it straight away as soon as possible, like, don't wait too long to report it, like, report it straight away, um, and I know that if that, if that had been me, if it had been the other way around yesterday, and I'd have been calling a Muslim person, Muslim trash, or something like that, something like that would be taken a lot more seriously than a white person being all white trash or white scum or something like that. I, you know, it's, it, that, that sort of incident where a white person is all white trash or white scum or something like that is never really going to be taken that seriously in comparison to an incident where, you know, when a Muslim person Muslim trash or Muslim scum or something like that. That sort of situation it's going to be handled very differently and it's going to be taken a lot more seriously than a white... It's always going to be taken a lot more seriously than a white person being all white trash or white scum. You know, that's never going to be taken that seriously. But a Muslim person being all a Muslim scum or Muslim trash is going to be taken a hell, you know, a hell of a lot more seriously. You know, in all hindsight. Um, you know, I hate... You know, I personally hate seeing things the way they are at the moment and hate 
Now, I personally hate seeing this country the way it is at the moment. Like, I don't like seeing that country in so much, that country is in kind of so much chaos and so much kind of disarray at the moment. I don't like the way that there's so much hostility, you know, at the moment, and there's so much tension at the moment, and there's so much kind of. You know, like there's just such a negative. It feels like there's such a negative kind of atmosphere at the moment, and you can really feel that kind of negative atmosphere when you're out and about. You can really feel that tension and that hostility, and you know, that you know that you know that what happened to me yesterday was a very good example of the sort of trouble that is going on at the moment. Um, Obviously, I'm not gonna, you know, this incident yesterday is gonna stop me from going out. You know, it's not, it's not gonna have me, from, you know, worrying that something like that's gonna happen again because I, I doubt it will. But I, just, I think you just have to be very careful at the moment when you're out and about. You just have to be sensible, you know, and you have to be, you know, you, you know, you have to remember to be responsible and not be stupid when you're out and about. Like, just, you know, it's about being safe. You know, you just have to be safe and you just have to be careful when you're out and about, you know. Um, I mean, obviously, as I said, I will never, I, like, I would never, you know, I'm, I'm never going to condone, um, you know, the rioting and all that kind of stuff. You know, I, you know, I don't, you know, I'm, you know, I'm against all that. I'm against people writing and things like that. I feel like there's a better way of getting things sorted that doesn't necessarily involve writing about it and things like that. Um, you know, it just has to be said. Um, I mean, it is frustrating, you know, when things like, when, you know, things go wrong. You know, it, absolutely, I get that, you know, I understand what people are trying to say and the point that people are necessarily trying to make with this. But it's just, like, the situation at the moment is just god-awful. Like, seeing the country the way it is at the moment and things like, the fact that things like this are happening because things like this, but you know, never used to happen before. You know, I mean, we, months ago, we wouldn't have to, we wouldn't have had to put up with walking down the street and being called white and being called all the white and like white scum and all that. But that's what we're having to part with now. That's what we're having to tolerate now as of what's going on. You know, that is what, that is the, you know, this is what, you know, it's, it's what, you know, what is going on at the moment, you know, it's causing so much, like, causing so many issues, it's causing so much tension and hostility and obviously, as I've mentioned before, here, Starmer is completely to blame for this. You know, he's made, you know, he's escalated things. He's made things worse. You know, he's made the situation what it is. He's, you know, he's the, you know, he's the one that's caused all of this. You know, he's the one that's caused all of this anger and, you know, frustration from people. He's the one, that's, you know, He's the one that's added fuel to the fire, you know, he's the one that's made things, you know, that's deteriorated, you know, that's caused things to deteriorate um, to, to the extent that they have. And it's just not right, you know. Um, I hope none of you guys have to deal with what I had to deal with yesterday. And that's not a nice thing to deal with, you know, I do, I was a little bit shaken up afterwards, but. You know, like not something like an incident like that isn't gonna, you know, isn't gonna stop me from going out. You know, you have to take incidents like that on the head. You know, the, I think the best thing you can try and do in that sort of situation is not let things like that get to you. I mean, it's a hard thing to do. You know, it's a hard thing to not let things like that get to you. But that's all you can really do. Well, that's what we can really do at all. You really do it in this sort of situation. It's just not like these things get to you, you know? Um, but yeah, that was just a short video, obviously, from me, you know, obviously giving you guys, obviously, talking to you guys about what happened yesterday. And, you know, I just wanted to really sort of do this video to 
Um, you know, encourage you guys to be careful when you're out and about. Um, and just to make sure you stay safe. Um, you know, it's at a time like this where things are so bad at the moment, you do need to make sure you stay safe and you do need to be careful when you're out and about. Like, it's sad that I even, that I even have to say, you know, that I'm even having to warn people to be careful when they're out and about. And to, you know, it's sad that I'm even having to warn people to stay safe. But, you know, with situations like that, you know, being the way, with things being the way they are at the moment, all you can do is just warn people to stay safe and warn people to be careful when they're out and about. Like, that's the best thing anyone can do. It's just warn people to stay safe when they're out, you know, be careful when they're out and about. You know, as, oh, you know, obviously, you know, I don't think anything, anything like this will happen to anyone else, hopefully, but, you know, I wouldn't want anyone to, you know, have to, you know, deal with something like that. As it's, you know, it's not nice. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. Um, I'll see you for another video very, very soon. But for now, thank you for watching and have a good and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye bye.